the beautiful Bagnon Memorial Stadium for Monday afternoon football from San Francisco, California between the Kaloa Wyverns and your San Francisco Bulldogs here on Bulldog Radio 102.5 KSFR The Score I am your Bulldog play-by-play -play commentator Cameron Irvine as you see the starting lineups for the Wyverns and the Bulldogs scroll across your screen you're listening to Bulldog Radio and watching live on the SFL Network on Twitch. Let's head down to the field for tonight's coin toss. Is that good? You guys ready? We want heads. Heads it is. We'll kick. The Wyvern have won the toss and select a kick. So San Francisco in a similar position that Dallas was in last night. They need a victory to stay in the legitimate playoff conversation, Kalua is the opponent. They're West rivals. We are underway from San Francisco, and it's actually a bit chilly tonight, 63 degrees here in California with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. And it's a first down at the 29. Four wide receivers set for Joseph Redfeather, who has struggled this season, trying to turn the season around. He'll start off with a pass, step up in the pocket, a sidearm throw to a wide open receiver, caught gain of 20, first down, San Francisco, and that is a big start for the Bulldogs offense. James Cooley gets open down the right-hand side of the field. And San Francisco could not have asked for a better start to this football game. Two receivers and two backs in the backfield. Michael Urban gets his first carry on a draw, and Urban picks up a couple. San Francisco one and four, Kalua two and three. This is the sixth time these two teams have met in SFL history. San Francisco leads the all-time series three to two, but Kalua has won the last two meetings. Second and eight into Kalua territory. Urban now the lone man in the backfield. Cooley to the bottom of the screen, and Urban will take a toss left-hand side. And Michael Urban spins and gets positive yardage. Lee Tuck Inyuk on the tackle. It'll bring up a third down and six from the 47. Fourth play of the drive upcoming. San Francisco in their home. Blue helmets, blue jerseys, white pants, white numbers, orange and blue trim. Kalua in their road. Black helmets, white uniforms. White pants, dark blue numbers, and the bright green flamed trim. Third down and six to the Kalua 47, and Redfeather drops to throw. Wide open, a receiver to the Kalua 32. First down, San Francisco. And so far, they have been able to exploit this Wyvern defense, which has struggled this season. A solid start for Joseph Redfeather, who's been getting the football out of his hands rather quickly, making smart decisions. High formation, Red Feather back to throw. He will again go down the middle, and this one's intercepted. Intercepted and then returned past the 20, 25 to the 27 yard line. Justin Saunders, the outside linebacker, playing in coverage, picks off Joseph Red Feather, and a positive start for the San Francisco offense is negated. The pass intended for Xavier Brunson and then Nathaniel Grayson able to pick up a block for Justin Saunders. That is interception number one on the season. Three. Saunders coming into this week, sixth in tackles, 37, along with 13 assisted, nine tackles for loss. 
And Kalua starts their first offensive possession at their own 27 with three wide receivers. Matsumoto back to pass. Matsumoto down the middle. That pass is caught by Aiba. A pickup of six to the Kalua 33. So the Wyverns get an interception on their first defensive possession. They bend but do not break. Trying to make it three straight over San Francisco and their second straight victory of the season. Matsumoto to throw again on second down and four. He goes deep down the field. It is tipped and incomplete pass intended for Lawrence, Lawrence Kirkland. And it brings up third down and four. Cox on the coverage. Can San Francisco force a three and out? We've seen Matsumoto start the game with back-to-back -back passes. Kirkland is in the slot. Iba to the top of the screen. Ten on the play clock. On third and four, Iba will hand it off to Christ. He is decked. A loss of one. Good start of the game for San Francisco's defense. A three and out. So Kalua does nothing with the interception. And the Wyverns will have to put it away. Back to a San Francisco offense that before the interception looked really sharp. Oh yeah, butter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. <laughs> Wyverns kick it away. High deep kick. And San Francisco will start from their 32-yard line. San Francisco has the number eight offense in the league, averaging just 16.6 .6 points per game. And if you look back historically, to that figure, that is actually lowest all time. Last year, San Francisco set the mark 16.9 points per game. Kalua, meanwhile, is the eighth or the seventh ranked coming into this week defense. 32.2 points given up per game. Which side has the advantage tonight may tell the story. And off to Michael Urban. He takes it around the left-hand side. Urban makes one man miss and picks up four to the 36. And there is Saunders again on the tackle. Starting offense for San Francisco. It's a little light since Freeman Goodspeed was traded. Gold Star quarterback Joseph Redfeather, number six. Running back Michael Urban, number 22. Wide receiver, number 19, James Cooley. And the tight end is number 80, Xavier Brunson. Second down and six from the 36, three wide receivers, and Red Feather's going to hand it off to Urban up the middle. Urban trying to bounce it around the right-hand side, picks up one to the 37, tackle made by Koyama Shigeki, along with Lee Tuck Inyuk. And that gives us a perfect opportunity to meet the Wyvern defense. Inyuk on the line, where's number 93. Cornerback is Koyama Shigeki in his rookie season, number 23. The linebackers inside is Sebastian Brock, 53. Justin Saunders outside, 56. And Nathaniel Grayson is the free safety, number 36. The Stork, six foot eight. As Michael Urban takes a stretch hand off, left hand side. Michael Urban first down of more. Michael Urban best the bend midfield and is tackled to the Kalua 37. 36 yards on five carries for Michael Urban. And that might be his longest run of the year. First down, San Francisco. Urban had all kinds of room down that left hand side. And for Michael Urban, his longest run of the season is only 18 yards, so that most definitely was his finest carry. It's first and 10 at the Kahlua 37. A heck of a start for Michael Urban in this ball game. First down once again at the Kahlua territory. Urban takes the handoff, picks up two up the middle to the 34. Sebastian Brock on that last tackle. The next home game for San Francisco is the season finale, Sunday, August 24th. That's next Sunday. They will host the Oklahoma City Renegades to kick off a football Sunday doubleheader. You can call 1-800-GO-DOGS for your tickets to that finale. Great seats still available as Michael Urban takes a handoff for four yards to the 31-yard line. Shigeki there again on the tackle. San Francisco on that carry enters field goal range. Michael Urban just 179 yards on 133 carries. 
An all-time low 1.3 yards a carry for Urban this season. Third down and four. Red Feather has a pocket down the middle. Caught first down into the red zone of the Kalua 19. Xavier Brunson. Joseph Redfeather missed him on the last possession and hits him here. Xavier Brunson on the season, 11 grabs for 180 yards. Has one touchdown and has been a reliable target. Caught over 90% of his targets this season, 11 of 13. First down and 10 of the 19, 6.40 to go in the first. Three wide receivers and two backs. Redfeather drops to pass. Redfeather sends him deep. Go to the end zone. That pass is tipped away. Nearly intercepted. Saunders and Grayson there. Saunders has been excellent in pass coverage here in the first quarter. As Redfeather didn't really have anybody open. Cooley was streaking on the left-hand side, but he missed him. And it was Saunders getting his hands on that pass. Justin Saunders this season had just two passes defended coming into this game and, Second and ten. he has made his presence known halfway through the first quarter no score second down and 10 of the 19 second possession for San Francisco through an interception on their first and Redfeather drops back the throw Redfeather swings it outside right that pass is caught and an open field tackle is made at the 12 that I believe unless there's two number 23s on the field for Kalua's defense is Shigeki's third tackle and it brings up a third down and three at least San Francisco can put a field goal up on the board here they would need likely to win out this season have some opportunities. They still have Dallas on the schedule. And they also uh, will face Oklahoma City, who they play tough as Michael Urban nearly got the first down. But Sebastian Brock stopped him. A little slow to get up. Brings up a fourth down and one, and we'll see how aggressive San Francisco is tonight. They're not going to attempt the fourth and short conversion. Or will they? Joseph Redfeather still out there on the field. Cooley is at the top of the screen. Will they pull the trigger here? Only five in the box. Kalua believes they can stop Michael Urban relatively easy, although that has not been the case tonight. Redfeather's trying to hard, hard count Kalua down to six on the play clock, down to four, and Kalua doesn't budge. San Francisco will burn their first time out of the night and bring on Kevin Epstein. B.B. Steeles, welcome to the SFL chat room for Monday Night Football. We're happy to have you here. So fourth down San Francisco looking to put the first points up on the board. Kalua on their only offensive possession went three and out. Noel Christ one yard or minus one yard on one carry. Matsumoto one for two. And Epstein's kick from 26 yards is good. 5-17 to go in the first quarter. San Francisco a better second drive than the first. 3-0 over their west rivals, the Kalua Wyverns. CasualAdultGamers.com is an official partner of the Simulation Football League. They have the premier NFL All-Pro Football Online League for the Xbox 360 and have been in existence since 2007. Join a league today at CasualAdultGamers.com or join the season, I should say, as they have multiple seasons a year. Kalua returns up to the 28-yard line and Kalua's offense will try again against this aggressive San Francisco defense, which we will meet now. Randall Watts and Jordan Gray on the defensive line. Randall Watts, a season high, three and a half sacks, or season record, that is, three and a half sacks last week against Baltimore. The linebacker is number 54, Gage Wilson. Marcus Doris and Andrew Ball are the corners. And 
strong safety. I'm trying to think of what his name is. Says it's been a long time since San Francisco has had a home game. No Christ on the carry. Ahmad Arrington, the former star. Andrew Ball and Ahmad Arrington, former players on the Stars defense, now heading up a very strong effort for San Francisco on that side of the ball. Three wide receiver set. We reached 61 Twitch followers this morning, which is just absolutely incredible. We had 11 to start this third season as Yuya Iba makes the catch. But it'll bring up a third down and 11. Kalua has not moved the chains tonight. 4.38 to go in the first quarter. Four wide receivers set. Gage Wilson calling out signals. And Matsumoto will drop the pass against a four-man rush. Good pocket down the field. The pass is picked off at the 49-yard line. Andrew Ball, welcome to San Francisco with the pick. Matsumoto's first of the night. And the San Francisco defense absolutely lethal here in the first quarter. First and 10 of the 49-yard line. Red Feather starts with excellent field position. He swings it out to Michael Urban. Michael Urban, nice run after the catch, gain of seven. Red Feather now with 61 passing yards, and Michael Urban is having himself his finest quarter of the year. Urban's season high this year is 40 rushing yards. That was also his finest game Yards per carry wise, 1.5. He's not reached the end zone since week one. Michael Urban will take a handoff and break a tackle. He will not get the first down. Brock and Saunders clean it up. Gain of two to bring up a third down and one. There's Shigeki again. He's all over the place. Kalua's defense giving up 134 rushing yards a game. That is a third worst in the league. They're passing defense is last in the league they give up 304 toss play out to Michael Urban and no gain on the play so it's going to be four down so when it counts Urban cannot pick it up and Justin Saunders is having a whale of a first half right now this guy is making plays both in the running and the passing games and Joseph Redfeather is out there again on a fourth down and one I Highly doubt that San Francisco would burn two timeouts. So I think they're going to go for this here. And Michael Urban's in the backfield. He will get the carry. Pushed backwards and he didn't get it. We've seen a lot of teams this year run it on fourth and short. And if you're going to run it on fourth and short, you have to go up the field. You can't go horizontally. The defenses are too good in this league as Sebastian Brock... Holds them out of the first down. And Kalua gets their second defensive stand of the night. And will allow Matsumoto to shake off his interception with relatively decent field goal uh, field position to start their third drive. Play action. Matsumoto checks it down short and ends up being a decent five-yard pickup. That's Noel Kreis out of the backfield to the 45-yard line. San Francisco Bulldog Radio reminds you that all replays tonight are brought to you by Pepsi. Refresh your world. Pepsi, an official partner of the San Francisco Bulldogs. Two in the backfield. It's a draw to Kreis. He is stood up. No gain. Wilson with a battle cry as San Francisco, the number two run defense they give up just 84.2 yards per game grand rapids is first giving up 68 but the rollers have not faced elliott snyder and that relentless baltimore offense just yet 
Another third down for Kalua, whose offense has struggled to get in a rhythm. Play action against the Blitz. Matsumoto finds it up and Mary Leaf is hands incomplete. I believe that was Lawrence Kirkland on the outside and Kalua now not helping themselves and will punt it away. Matsumoto got the ball out to him. The offensive line did a good job against the Blitz. And San Francisco catches a break there. When these two teams get together, the game's often very defensive. Kalua won the earlier meeting this year, 26 to 13. Low snap at the feet of the punter. He gets it away cleanly. Back at the 16-yard line, San Francisco will not get beyond their own 20. The league's official website has daily updates at simulationfl.com. You can like the league on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels, all at slash simulationfl. First and ten from the 20 for San Francisco. Red Feather, three-step drop. Has all day to throw and could not find an open receiver. Brunson jammed as he tried to get out of his route. No call for pass interference and it'll bring up second down. Kalua had a rough start to their season. They had to fly from Hawaii all the way to Florida. Then after a bye week and a home game had to fly all the way to New York. This by far their shortest trip of the year. What a big hit in the backfield by Inyuk. Urban lost four yards, and that's generous. Third down and 14. Inyuk with the big stop at the backfield. He has had an improved season. 23 tackles, four and a half sacks, second in the league, trailing just Lamar Davis. And 13 tackles for losses, second best in the league, only behind Joe Dazzo's 14. Red Feather back to throw on a third and long, and that pass caught, no, out of bounds, they said. James Cooley looked in. James Cooley looked in, and we're going to get a challenge. That was a heck of a grab by James. The Bulldogs. Are challenging. I think San Francisco is going to win this challenge. They have a legitimate case. Red Feather really zipped it out to the near side. And yeah, he got both feet inbounds. That's a catch, ladies and gentlemen. After review, the pass has been ruled complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. The Bulldogs will not be charged with a timeout. First down. Excellent challenge by the San Francisco Bulldog coaching staff. Joseph Redfeather off to a bit of a rocky start, and this season has been rocky for him as well. 11 interceptions, six touchdowns. He's the sixth highest rated quarterback of eight starting quarterbacks in the league. Redfeather dumps it short, and that pass is caught first down, ends up being a gain of 13 yards. Redfeather is getting the ball out of his hands quickly, there's no doubt about that. Does not want to test Inyuk in this defensive front, which is one of the best in the league at bringing down the quarterback, and the last time these two teams met up. Joseph Redfeather was sacked six times, which is two more than he had been sacked the entire rest of the season. First and 10 of the 45, Red Feather back to pass. That pass caught first down. Beautiful route. Hubbard with the grab. The ball seemed to hang out there for someone to pick it off for Kalua, but it gets through the defense. And San Francisco has another first down, something that Kalua has hardly seen at all in the first quarter out of their offense. Bulldogs have clearly been the better team this quarter, but only have a 3-0 lead to show for it as the quarter winds down. Redfeather 
changing the signals. He will hand it off to Urban on a stretch around the right-hand side. Spin move, Urban, five-yard pickup. Urban's got some pep in his step tonight as the first quarter comes to a close. Bulldog fans hope that that will continue. End of one here in San Francisco. This is Bulldog Radio 102.5, the score. We'll be right back to Bagnon Memorial after a word from our sponsors. We don't have an alarm clock at all. The kids are the alarm clock. We have four boys. He wanted five. <laughs> Busy might be an understatement. Between the kids, work, we have to stay on top of our finances. We put away for college, retirement. There's always something you can spend money on, but you really have to pace yourself. The Bank of the West app with Quick Balance is amazing for that. I don't see us slowing down anytime soon. And with the Bank of the West app, we don't have to. What does your car say about you? Something bold or nothing at all? Introducing the all-new Ford Fusion. With class-exclusive rear inflatable safety belts and the ability to alert you when you drift out of your lane, it doesn't just say good things about you, it completely changes the conversation. Why be invisible when you can stand out? San Francisco Bulldog. Football on Bulldog Radio on 102.5 KSFR. The score is brought to you by Google, by Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings Beer, Sports, by Ford, Go Further, and by Pepsi, Refresh Your World. Start of the second quarter here at Bagnon Memorial Stadium in San Francisco. A 3-0 San Francisco lead with six in the box. A 4-2-5 look for Kalua's defense. Red feather back to pass. Swing pass out to Urban. Has some space and Urban tackled the open field. Only a gain of one. Justin Saunders there to make the stop. Red feather now 103 passing yards in this game. Matsumoto just 11. San Francisco's defense has long been their calling card. Gage Wilson, for a third straight season, leads the team in tackles with 36 so far this year. That pass to the outside. Get those toes in to the 33. James Cooley's second grab of the day. First down, that one looked a little bit closer to being out of bounds than the previous catch he made. Gage Wilson, back uh, last summer, third in the league in tackles at the end of the season, 59. He was fifth last year with 56. And as mentioned, this year is near the top five with 36 through five games. Brings up second down and 10. No gain there for Michael Urban. Twelve minutes to go, first half, 3-0 San Francisco. Packed house here in uh, Bulldog land. These fans know how important this game is tonight as Urban takes a carry around the left-hand side. Another spin, another broken tackle, and Urban ends up with five. Michael Urban having a brilliant first half as his great evening continued. Third down and five. Now a four wide receiver look. Urban giving Redfeather a lot of options on these third and mediums. Redfeather changing the call. Back to pass. Has a man open inside the 25 to the 20 to the 19. First down. San Francisco again into the Kahlua red zone. This an excellent start and an excellent drive for San Francisco. Buffalo Wild Wings remind you that they are the official watch party home of the San Francisco Bulldogs. You can catch all home and away games at Buffalo Wild Wings. And for away games, it's a party in there. 
as they set up a screen to Urban, who tried to cut it back up the middle and didn't have any blockers. Sebastian Brock there on the stop. Brock and Saunders filling up the stat sheet here in the first half. Have a feeling it's going to be a thick one, especially if San Francisco's defense can continue to impress. The Virtual Sports Network is the official video game news leader of the Simulation Football League. To find out more, head to virtualsportsnetwork.com, join an online league, and become a member of the message boards as that pass is caught at about the two-yard line by Hubbard. There's a penalty marker, believe, on Kalua. It's going to be first and goal. Neutral zone infraction, number 96. Keith, the penalty is declined. Penalty declined, first down. San Francisco, as Kalua rushed just four, nearly got to Red Feather, but these receivers have been open. This drive started from San Francisco's 20 and started before the second quarter began. Two receivers and two backs. Michael Urban on a draw. Michael Urban lost a yard. And Sebastian Brock in the first half has eight tackles already. Brock came into this week third in the league in tackles with 41. He has been the sole stopper of Michael Urban tonight. Now a second down and goal from the four. And Redfeather has time. Now he doesn't. Sacked back of the 12. Coming in late, I believe, was Lee Tuck Inyuk. That's who came down with it. Five and a half sacks for Inyuk this season. And it's now third and goal at the 12 as Kalua's red zone defense is standing tall. Number one in the league when teams get in the red zone, giving up touchdowns just 33% of the time. The lone bright spot of this defense this year. Third and goal from the 12. Red Feather back to pass. Red Feather pump fake now goes right hand side and threw it away. Nobody open. Another red zone stop for Kalua, and it's going to bring on Epstein for another field goal. So such a positive effort for San Francisco to get into the end zone and they can't end up accomplishing that goal. This field goal from 29 yards away, bad snap, and the kick is through. Epstein two for two tonight. Six nothing San Francisco here in the early stages. Ramos Lynn, welcome back. T Pat, welcome back. Nine minutes remaining. Kalua, I don't think, has more than 20 yards of offense. I would find that impossible. The Wyverns started really slow last week against Grand Rapids as well. Came back to win that game 30-29. to That one of, if not the best game of the year here in the SFL. So far, San Francisco's defense has been impenetrable. They haven't been as good as they have been in the past. 22.6 points a game given up. 370 yards allowed. That's third best in the league. And have the worst red zone defense. Giving up touchdowns 58% of the time as Iba makes the four-yard grab and knocks over a man on the sidelines. So now 15 yards passing for Matsumoto and the Wyverns. San Francisco's passing defense ranked sixth. Three wide 
receivers a counter to Christ. He lost two yards. Third down and eight. And Gus cannot move the ball at all tonight. Really struggling here in the early goings. And after their defense was on the field, such a long drive. Kalua, you would think their offense would be absolutely crucial to get a first down here as Matsumoto steps from the pocket, fires it, pass is caught. He was short of the first down. Fourth and inches, another three and out for Kalua. Gage Wilson stopped him, and on the second look, I don't believe he was past the line at any point. Needed, I believe, the 37 for a first down, and he didn't get there. Nothing but punts and one interception out of Ono Matsumoto as the defensive battle continues here in the first half. San Francisco looking sharp. And while their offense only has six points, they put up a lot of yards in the first half. And Michael Urban is having the best game of his season as the punt return is a pretty decent one up to the 32-yard line. San Francisco is a, a part of next football Sunday as the Bulldogs will host the Oklahoma City Renegades at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. Then we will shift out east as Metro Stadium will be the site of the New York Knights hosting the Baltimore Crabs who are still undefeated. That game kicks off at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's next week on Football Sunday here on the SFL Network on Twitch as Joseph Redfeather drops to throw against a blitz and the pass is incomplete. And Jennifer Brunson there again was Justin Saunders defending in the passing game. Saunders and Brock have been basically the only names on this Wyvern defense worth mentioning tonight, although Inyuk does have a sack. Brings up second down and 10, and there is Brock who had eight tackles coming into this drive. Brock showing a blitz with four down linemen. We'll see if he comes with it. Brock will back off as they rush four. Red Feathers got time. Nearly threw an interception as Jones in coverage as Kalua threw him a different look there, dropping off and then blitzing from the outside left. So it brings up third down and ten. Red Feather confused on that play. James Cooley with a couple of grabs tonight. Third down at the 32. He started off this game with a 20-yard catch from left to right. Red feather high snap. Throws down the middle into traffic. There's a penalty marker thrown in the secondary. I believe they may get Kalua on pass interference, and this draw should be extended. Pass interference. Number 36. Nathaniel Grayson called for the penalty. Grayson a little bit too tall for his own good there on that one. Brings up 7-13 to go in the first half. First and 10. Spot foul from the 41. A look at Bagnod's signature dog in the end zone. 16 carries, 51 yards for Mike Urban. Doesn't look fancy, but that is his best to this point. First yard line. He has never had in three seasons a 100-yard rushing performance in the regular season. He picks up two. Harmon on the tackle. And actually, I said earlier that Shigeki was over the field. It's actually been Harmon. Shigeki wearing number 26. Harmon's had a good first half. Civilized, welcome to the SFL chat room. We're happy to have you here with us tonight on Monday Night Football between San Francisco and Kalua. Swing pass out to Michael Urban, pass the 45, and Harmon there again to meet him. A pickup of four, break the third and four at the San Francisco 46 yard line. 
Week 9, start off in Hawaii. A noon central, 1 p.m. Eastern start. Kalua will host Dallas, who's now eliminated from playoff contention as Kalua I get to Polly for three. For three, four, playing Oklahoma City in the game. Good blocker by San Francisco with a stick. San Francisco to punt it away. Jay Ronson know where the days are, and Kalua picks us from there to punt away. Kalua's offense once again bailed out by their defense in the first half. A poor showing from Matsumoto and Kreiss. Kirkland does not have a catch tonight. This will be returned from the 12. Not a lot of room to the 14-yard line. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe will have your first half highlight stats and analysis from the SFL Studios in San Antonio, Texas. Coming up on the 2K Sports Halftime Report as soon as we're done here with our second quarter from Bagnall Memorial in California. As mentioned, it's actually a little chilly tonight. 63 degrees. Three wide receivers, two in the backfield. Matsumoto goes play action. He's going to go deep to the left-hand side. Knocked away. Ahmad Arrington on the coverage, or actually no, that was Cox on the coverage, no gain. Iba, the intended receiver, second and ten, and that's the first time we've seen Matsumoto test this San Francisco secondary deep down the field. San Francisco one, Kalua nothing. High formation, Kreis has had absolutely no room to run tonight. Off on a draw, he breaks it through a tackle and picks up four to the 19. That may be his longest carry of the evening. Third down and six. Matsumoto right now a rating of 12. 23 yards and an interception in the first half. Matsumoto's lowest passing output of the year is 169, that came in the opener against Orlando. Play action, Matsumoto swing pass, and they said Iba was out of bounds. Another fourth down. For Kalua, they'll have to punt it away. Both teams have struggled defensively this year to a point, but San Francisco's defense has improved, and every time these two teams get together, they get in these type of ball games with some love and some hate. The chess match. Wyvern's punted away. Punter really had to adjust to it. Not a particularly deep kick, and San Francisco will start with very good field position at the 47-yard line. Once again, Bulldog fans, don't forget that next Sunday is the home finale against Oklahoma City. Sunday, August 24th, 3 p.m. Central and 1 p.m. Western kickoff here from Bagnam Memorial. And off to Michael Irvin around the right-hand side. Michael Irvin made two people miss, and Grayson came up and made the stop, but Michael Irvin... If you're not familiar with this guy, he has been a no-show for three years after two poor seasons here in San Francisco for whatever reason. Owner Daly Holder decided to bring him back on a one-year deal. He has really struggled this season, but he is making some good cuts out there tonight as Urban takes it on the right-hand side, and he cannot pick up the first down. A loss on the play. Urban now 62 yards in the first half on the ground. Once again, has never had a 100-yard game. So third down and short for San Francisco. Teams that struggle to run the ball sometimes have a hard time picking these up. And on a toss, he is double teamed by Shigeki and Brock. And Urban cannot pick up the tough yards. And it'll be fourth down and one. We've seen San Francisco go for it on fourth down, and we are they are out there again. This is their third fourth and one situation of the night. They average only 36.8 rushing yards per game. 
They're going to give it to Urban. Looking for yards. Breaks a tackle. First down to the 37. And that's all on Kalua right there. Not bringing Urban down when they had the chance. First down, San Francisco. Time of possession is greatly lopsided tonight as Kalua's defense has got to be feeling an exhaust sensation. Cooley to the bottom of the screen, the lone receiver, red for the back to throw. He goes down the middle, and Brock got his hands on it, looking for Cooley on a slant. Sebastian Brock doing it all. We've seen some Wyvern games over the years with Saunders and Brock, and I must say this is the best first half those two have put together. Second and ten from the River. 247 remaining in the first half. 6-0 San Francisco. 425 look again here out of the Wyverns. And Red Feather will drop the throw against a four-man rush. Red Feather flings it out to Michael Irvin. I didn't even see him. Gains one. Joseph Red Feather now 140 passing in the first half. Matsumoto still under 25. Coming up on the two-minute warning. I don't think Kalua has maybe two, three first downs in this game. Red Feather pump fake down the middle and off target. It's going to bring up fourth down. Lloyd, the intended receiver, a forced throw out of Red Feather, and once again, for all of the positives that San Francisco's offense has had tonight. Kalua just one play away from taking the lead. Bulldogs just cannot pick up the yards when they count tonight. Gave Baltimore a stiff test last week, 20 to seven. High kick will drop at the five, and it goes into the end zone and will bring it, be brought out to the 20. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. The home of the park. This is Bulldog Radio 102.5. KSFR, the score. San Francisco, California. First down for Matsumoto in the Wyvern offense. 6-0 Bulldogs. Late stages of the first half. It's a draw play to Kreis, and Kreis is just getting swallowed up right now. Second down and 13. This has been a nauseating performance for Kalua's offense, and they had similar issues in the first half against the Rollers last week, as mentioned earlier. Three receivers and two backs. They're going to hand it off on a counter to Kreis. Kreis got almost nothing. Andrew Ball's first tackle of the night. Third down and 12. There's only been one shutout in league history. Orlando defeated Grand Rapids 41 to nothing last year in a blowout in Florida. Four receivers set, three to the top of the screen. Five in the box, four rush the quarterback. Matsumoto will throw a pick! Return past the 20 to the 15 yard line! Matsumoto's second of the first half, absolutely dreadful as Willie Bacon comes up with it and San Francisco in the red zone. So 57 seconds to go in the first half. San Francisco continues to dominate this game, although only up by six. Swing outside, caught by Cooley, run out of bounds at the 12. But even if Kalua holds to three here, as mentioned, number one red zone defense, giving up touchdowns 33% of the time. An interesting uh, note, Kalua's defense 
has allowed offenses into the red zone 18 times. That's a league high. But have given up just six touchdowns. And 11 field goals, which is most by any team. Red Feather back to throw. Sidearm! What a catch! Touchdown! Xavier Brunson! His second of the season! And San Francisco finally gets in the end zone on a beautiful snag from Brunson. And look at that zip from Red Feather. Uphill battle for Kahlua. They got to find something in the second half, which last week they did. But here in San Francisco, it's a whole different type of bark. Bronson making a big catch in traffic. And how about Red Feather? Fine in the lane through a bunch of bodies. And the kick is away. From the 10 yard line, Kalu on the return, 25, past the 30. Good return there for the Wyverns up to the 45 yard line. So three wide receivers, how aggressive does Kalua approach the final 45 seconds? They have all three timeouts. They're going to hand it off to Christ. Oh, Christ! Headshot! Boom! Christ wants to go home. These aren't the beaches of Hawaii. This is the jungle of San Francisco. I mean, this guy is getting dominated at the point of attack. Three receiver set, and Matsumoto will have to drop the throw. A deep pass is, is incomplete, nearly caught by Kirkland. Well defended on the outside, third down and 13. This first half has been an embarrassment for Kalua. Four wide receivers. This crowd is getting rowdy. Watching their defense play all through this first half. Matsumoto in trouble. He goes deep down the field and is incomplete. Iba was open, but he was underthrown. Andrew Ball on the coverage. Fourth down, and the punt will be the final play of the first half. San Francisco's defense. Now, back-to-back -back first halves, last week against Baltimore, and then this week against Kahlua. Impenetrable. <laughs> I'll see you laughing now. From the 36, San Francisco on the return, and that's the end of the first half of play. How about it? San Francisco up 13-0. Dan and Peter, take it away. And at the 38. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bulldogs enjoying the lead 13-0. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Now we'll look at our halftime comparison, and as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Bulldogs are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second. 
Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 56 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Still early in the first, all at their own 36. Number 22 got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down and he'd make it pay off. That set up a 27 yard field goal. Midway through the first, the Wyverns losing by three. Number 35 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Bulldogs, now in the second quarter, number six, connected with his man on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Bulldogs winning six to nothing. Bacon shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Bulldogs have it off an interception already in the red zone. Number six connected with his man on this one. An 11 yard touchdown for the home team. And that will do it. The Bulldogs are up big at the half. 13 to nothing. All right, good work, partner. The Wyverns get the ball first this half and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 13 to nothing. Now let's get to the game. It's halftime in San Francisco. The Bulldogs 13-0 over the Wyverns. You're listening to Bulldog Radio on the score, 102.5 KSFR. We'll be back to back now Memorial after this. Get caught up in the excitement. Buffalo Wild Wings. More wings, more beer, more sports. Hey, who's this? Assistant. Assistant. Twins Cliff and Chris Paul made it their pursuit to pass selflessness on to the next generation. And their children proved to be true prodigies. Got it? I got it. On the court, little Chris's signature alley oop de doo drew the attention of local scouts. While off the court, Little Cliff assisted neighborhood children by ensuring their new treehouse from his own State Farm branch. Before long, the Pauls knew that the future of the assist was in the right hands. Because one thing every State Farm agent can tell you is that a little assist goes a long way. no matter who it comes from. Hey, throw me a Pepsi. The cooler! Introducing new wild cherry and vanilla Pepsi made with real sugar. Summer starts with new flavors of Pepsi made with real sugar. Grab some before it gets away. Get your Pepsi! Start of the third quarter in San Francisco. San Francisco and Kahlua locked in a defensive battle, but Kahlua, 18 total yards in the first half. find a way to turn it around as the Wyverns return to the 32-yard line. The Bank of the West first half stat of the night, negative five rushing yards for the Kahlua Wyverns. This is a team that, like San Francisco, struggles to run the football but does average 54 yards a game. They're not even close to that at this point. Three receivers. 
And the handoff goes to Kreis, and Kreis moves forward for a three-yard pickup. Will we try to see Kalua establish the run here in the second half? Matza, I have never seen a quarterback with a rating that low in this game. Point six in the first half. Three receivers, and the handoff goes to Kreis, and he didn't get anything. We're talking about Blitz the League in the chat room right now, and I have to agree. I think that overall, the original Blitz is just more fun to play, and the, the teams seem all really to go rather well, and I think the personalities of the star players are complemented better. Um, not so much in, in Blitz the League 2. It just doesn't seem like the identities of the teams are as good as that pass is caught. But short of the first down for Iba. Coach is furious because Kalua's got a punt again. I actually, when I played Blitz, I didn't use the uh, I didn't use the, the, the power-ups or, or whatever you call it. I just played the game just flat out straight. And it would it would play kind of like arena football, um, with the with the high scoring um, you know craziness that goes on there. So on fourth and three, Kalua kicks it away from the 26. San Francisco return up to the 29 yard line. and 10 to the 29. Red Feather is going to swing it outside. Michael Urban is open again. And Urban picks up six to the 35-yard line. Shigeki and Grayson come up to make the tackle. Michael Urban was stellar in the first half. I mean, this guy is having big numbers. And if you look back to what he did in his first couple of seasons... Michael Urban's best game, 99 yards, but 56 came on one carry in that game. As Urban takes it around the left-hand side, first down to the San Francisco 40. One point four rating for Red Feather tonight. And off to Michael Urban again up the middle. Michael Urban gains nine. Urban could end up having one heck of a night if he keeps up the way he has run the football this evening as San Francisco's nearing mid midfield. Second and inches. Ball at the 50 yard line. Four, two, five, look. For Kaluma's defense. Michael Urban, I mean, he's getting five yards a pop right now. First down to the Kalua, 43. And right now, this is starting to get a little scary for Kalua because if San Francisco wins this game, both teams would go to two and four. They would split the season series, so it would go to point differential, which belongs to San Francisco. So Kalua would actually drop to seventh. San Francisco up to sixth, a game and a half out of the playoffs with two to go. Hand off to Urban. And Urban picks up one of the Kalua 42. Nine minutes and counting here in the third. James Cooley's had a quiet night, but Redfeather really hasn't needed him. Redfeather back to pass. They are just not getting any pressure on him, but Brock nearly got another interception. And it'll bring up a third down and nine. Brock's fantastic night continues.
Third and nine. Third down and nine at the 42-yard line. San Francisco 1-1 one and one at Bagnon this year, 0-3 oh on the road. Four receiver set. Three to the bottom of the screen, and Redfeather will drop on a third and long. The scrambles outside, tipped and incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Redfeather did run out to his right-hand side. It looked like it was pretty clear out there. Face mask, number 53. And they call Sebastian Brock for a face mask. A 15-yard penalty. I don't know where they saw a face mask on an incomplete pass, but that's a huge penalty on Kalua. San Francisco in the scoring position. First and ten. By far the best the Bulldogs have played all year long. Had just seven points last week. And off to Michael Urban. And Urban picks up one to the 26. Justin Saunders there to make the stop. Eight and a half to go in the third. Number 56, credited with the tackle. Don't forget, next football Sunday, San Francisco will host the Oklahoma City Renegades while Baltimore will travel to New York to take on the New York Knights. The two top teams currently in the league will face off for the first time since week one. Action starts 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern on the SFL Network on Twitch as Joseph Redfeather for the second time tonight sacked Marcus Filia this time. There to make the play. Set up a third down and 15, and the reason for the importance there is that puts San Francisco on the brink of field goal range or outside of field goal range. A 49-yard kick would be rather difficult. Four wide receivers, third and 15. Red Feather changing the play. Four-man rush. Red Feather is going to check it down to Urban. He's in trouble. Urban's going to lose yards. And Kalua may have backed San Francisco out of field goal range. That's absolutely what you could not have if you're San Francisco. And the Bulldogs will come away with no points on this possession. They've had the ball ever since Kalua went three and out to start the second half. And it results in zero points. From inside the 10, down to the 2, down to the 1, and some goon dove for the football, which looked like it was going to be down to the goal line and slid right into the end zone. Wah, wah. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Matsumoto having the worst night of any quarterback in league history right now. Three wide receivers and two in the backfield. Only three down linemen is San Francisco daring them to, them to run the ball. Price takes a carry and hit hard by a previously unblocked Randall Watts who's been quiet tonight, but he showed his power on that one. Only a gain of one yard. Gage Wilson, a gold linebacker in his first two years. Took a pay cut to try and help this team get better. Penalty marker down. Thrown by the uh, official was Yuya Iba in traffic. Made a pretty catch. I do not believe it's going to stand, however. Holding, number 74. Penalties are burning Kalua here in the third quarter. Kaysen got caught holding. Second and 19 wipes away the big catch from Iba. As Lawrence Kirkland, I do not believe, has a catch tonight. Kirkland's disappearing act, one of the oddest things from last year to this year. The rookie had a sensational season, has done nothing this year in the Wyvern offense. Iba makes the grab, a gain of five. 
but it'll bring up a third down and 14. Five thirty-five, third quarter. This is a big test for Matsumoto, who last week threw his first ever game-winning touchdown. Back to pass, Matsumoto going deep down the field and overshot Lawrence Kirkland. Matsumoto is just off, and they'll have to put it away again. Two straight three and outs this second half for a team that had 18 yards in the first half. And on that possession, Kalua just went backwards. Still 13-0. However, San Francisco up to the 48-yard line. I mean, Kalua is not out of it. They're hanging with San Francisco. They're keeping it close, but... Man, the Bulldogs' defense has just been unbelievable. Michael Urban is two yards away from his first career 100-yard running game. He has 21 career starts to his name. Three receivers, two in the backfield. Red Feathers going to feed him. On a draw, he lost one. Now he has three to go. Saunders on the tackle. But Michael Urban has a whole quarter to get three yards. Who would have ever thought he would be the better running back of the two tonight? Three wide receiver set. Red Feather handoff to Urban again. Urban has stopped a four yard loss. So now Urban is going backwards. Third down and 15. This is the old Michael Urban. And Kalua has put Red Feather in a difficult situation. Third and 14. Ball at the 24 yard. Down! Four wide receivers set for Red Feather. Back to pass. Red Feather steps with a pocket hit as he throw incomplete. And a three and out for San Francisco. So Kalua's defense. This time, the one to make the big plays. Bulldogs will have to punt it away, but San Francisco winning the field position battle here in the third quarter. San Francisco kicks it away inside the 20 for the 18-yard line. Kalua spin move out to the 25. <laughs> Virtual Sports Network is the SFL's official partner for video games, sports news, and information. To find out more, visit virtualsportsnetwork.com. Join an online league there and uh, chat with other sports video game enthusiasts on the message boards at virtualsportsnetwork.com. It's where it's at. Noel Christ takes the carry. Noel Christ in the open field, 45, 50. Noel Christ, 40, 30. He's got more yards on this play than Kalua's had all game. Touchdown, Kalua. San Francisco's defense stunned. As no Christ on a counter to the left-hand side was not touched until he broke an Amon Arrington tackle and Kalua scores. And how about that for a surprise? More yards of offense on that play for Kalua than in this entire game. 
Christ shows up in a big way, his second touchdown of the season. He also has never had a 100-yard rushing game in his career. And with 3.50 to go in the third quarter, it's San Francisco 13 and Kalua 7. And everything San Francisco has done to this point just got wiped off the board. The Bulldog defense so good all night. Just let one go there. And they'll start the next drive from the 27. First and ten now for San Francisco. Michael Urban will take a carry left-hand side. Urban is approaching 100, picks up six. Urban now 99, ties his career high, but Christ now averaging 6.3 yards a carry, 75 yards and a touchdown tonight. Second and four after the six-yard carry for Michael Urban. One yard away from the century mark. Hand off Urban around the right-hand side. He didn't get anything. Sebastian Brock, man, this guy is unbelievable. Double-digit tackles easily this evening. Third down and four. Kalua played the worst offensive half possibly in SFL history. And they trail by six. Red Feather again down the middle. Has a man. First down. A pickup of 14. Xavier Brunson is having one heck of a night at tight end. Brunson's best game this season is 101 yards on three grabs. A 73-yard touchdown was his only previous score of the season. Tonight, Cooley, four catches, 45 yards on six targets. As mentioned, they haven't really needed him much, surprisingly, this evening. Red Feather to throw. Crossing route. Up the middle of the field, pass is caught into Kalua territory, gain of seven to the Wyvern 45-yard line. Second and two from the Wyvern 45-yard line. Second down and three, Michael Urban got one yard. So there it is, 100 yards for Michael Urban. Now just don't go backwards. Third down and two for San Francisco. And this is a big third down here as no Christ has entered the game. off Michael Urban and Urban is stopped for a loss of two and San Francisco will have to punt and it's amazing as as good as Michael Urban has been tonight he hasn't been like sensational San Francisco just continues all season long to run the ball way more than everyone would have expected as Lindstrom will punt it away Michael Urban's 133 carries coming into this week. More than Zach Parker, more than Christ, and more than Johnny English. So first and 10, Kalua from the 18-yard line, now trailing by just six. Let's go! First and 10. 
Noel Kreiss had a big play on the last drive. Is it Matsumoto's turn? Bulldog fans hoping that's a negative. Two backs, two receivers, and Matsumoto will start with a pass. And Matsumoto going to go deep in the field, and it is knocked away. Boy, if Iba would have beaten him on that play, this place would be really shocked as Iba, who has been targeted nine times, just four catches. Andrew Ball doing a pretty good, uh, decent job on him. Second down and 10 of the 18. Four receivers. And Matsumoto calling out signals. Shot, they're going to throw for a second straight time here. He's going to go deep down the field. It's overthrown. Him and Kirkland just not on the same page this year. I, I, it's hard to put your finger on it. Lawrence Kirkland on 41 targets which is the most out of the bottom seven or eight receivers in the league, just 24 catches. Now it's third down and 10. From the 18, play action, Matsumoto back to pass, he is pressured, and he goes down! Jordan Gray! Say hi to your mama for me! A quiet season for Gray up to this point. But San Francisco all over Montemoto on that play. And Montemoto on the last and that brings it in. San Francisco still has the lead. Kalua's made it interesting. 13 to 7. Start of the fourth from Bagnob. And we were for this. Tucker. <laughs> That's a technical, Sunshine. You know the rules. We play hard, but we don't play dirty. A good sport shakes hands and lose. So get back out there and make good. Sorry, man. I got next round. Hey, drinks on this guy. Oh, Game is on. Buffalo Wild Wings. With your fork. Hey, what about me? It all starts with the bread. We wake up thinking about it and bake fresh in the store every day. It's a pretty good with some nice fringe benefits. But we know you've been thinking about it too because it's the very foundation of your sandwich. We don't take that lightly. So we're always trying to make it even better. That's why we added some ingredients and took others out. We think it's our best bread yet. But come in and see for yourself. Bread is on us. So Francisco Bulldog foot tube through the door it is brought to you by a PlayStation 4. See the future. By and by Subway, eat fresh. Start of the fourth, Kalua to punt. State Farm reminds you that the next game out of state for San Francisco is the final game of the year. They will travel to take on the Dallas Stars Saturday or Sunday, September 7th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Get to a better state with the San Francisco Bulldogs. First and 10 of the 48. More fantastic field position for San Francisco, which has been a stat category that has been to their advantage all night long. Twelve fifty-two to go in the fourth. 13-7 San Francisco. And Red Feather will pass. Swings it outside to the fullback. And that is a three-yard gain. And there are the quarterback numbers. It is absolutely amazing that Ono Matsumoto still has 31 passing yards. Second and, seven. and Kalua is down by six. Second down, 
and seven. Handoff goes to Michael Urban, and Urban picks up three, I believe, back over 100 yards. Third down and four at the Kahlua 42. Two receivers, Cooley, top of the screen. Xavier Brunson has been the shining moment in the passing game. Red Feather is swarmed. It's like the offensive line just quit. That was some water boy right there. That was some longest yard stuff. Adam Williams comes in, but four different wyverns around Red Feather. It looked like maybe a screen was trying to get set up and. It just didn't happen as Kalua gets the sack and again stops San Francisco from entering into scoring position. Inside the 10 yard line, down to the five and will hop into the wow, hop into the end zone, then hop back out. Unlucky bounce there from Lindstrom as Kalua will start from their 20 yard line. Find out you can get on the Wall of Champions at CasualAdultGamers.com. An official part of the simulation. Best and brightest all-pro football 2K players on the Xbox 360 still live there. Join a season today at CasualAdultGamers.com. Matsumoto back to throw. Matsumoto has it thrown nearly intercepted. Jordan Gray had one against Kalua last time. These two teams got together. Iba was the target, but Watson Gray double team Matsumo backfield. And he's lucky that was not a sack. And again, four straight passes since Christ had that big carry. You would think he gets it here. Seven in the box for San Francisco. Play action, and Matsumoto goes down. Jordan Gray, second of the game, third and 14. Jordan Gray coming into the night, super quiet. Just one and a half sacks this year. Third down and 14, and this will be the sixth straight pass for Kahlua since no crisis run. Four receiver set, Matsumoto back to pass, pressured again, and as he threw, pass is caught, but he had to come back for it. It's Kirkland's first grab of the night, but it's fourth and one Kahlua. Lawrence Kirkland just can't get it right. Pass about target. And again, San Francisco's defense coming up with the monster stop. Oh, here I come, kicker. Here I come, here I come. Bulldogs on the return from the 30. When you think about Matsumoto's poor evening, if he doesn't throw that interception and give San Francisco the ball at the 40 or at the 50, Kalua. Kalua is winning this game. He has just had a historically bad evening here in California. And when you look at what he did earlier this year against San Francisco, we had one of his best games at uh, behind the center. Toss out to Michael Urban. Tries to cut it back middle, no gain. Sebastian Brock, I don't know how he only has two tackles in the second, but he officially it. second and ten under ten minutes to play. High formation, Red Feather to throw. Four man rocks, Red Feather in trouble. Falls it out to the left hand side, incomplete. Redfeather did well just to find a receiver, whether he was out of bounds or not, to get away from that pressure. 
Both teams' defensive lines have woken up here in the second half. Third and ten. Let's go! Third and ten. Ball at 38 yards. Four wide receivers, three to the top of the screen. And Red Feathers pass. Oh, is knocked down. McCarthy has had a really good game. We've seen him out there making a lot of plays. And this time, the big fella gets his hands up. It's what they teach you to do if you can't get the sack. And that's a big play as Kalua's defense once again in Yuck applied the pressure. That's some good camera work as well by All Pro. away. Kalua came after it. Only punt block in league history was this Kalua special teams unit on the road against Oklahoma City in the preseason. 9-18 to go in the fourth. Matsumoto's been dreadful. Kreis has all of a sudden stopped getting carries. Kalua down six. Two receivers, Christ to the right of Matsumoto, takes the handoff out of the shotgun and picks up just one. Christ, 75 yards on that one run. Other than that, tonight has one yard. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty crazy. I think the most surprising or the most surprised player or fan or staff member of Bagnall Memorial Stadium was Christ when he saw that lane open up. Play action, Matsumoto in trouble, sacked again. Randall Watts, now four and a half sacks since he was picked up three weeks ago. And San Francisco's defense, besides that one blemish, has just been too good tonight. Four receivers for Matsumoto, 8.23 to go. Offside, free play. Matsumoto checks it down, and the receiver dropped it. But it'll be a replay of third down. Neutral zone infraction, number 99. Defense, five yard penalty. Repeat, third down. Penalties have hurt teams in the second half. Third down and seven at the 35. Swing pass to the outside. Iba didn't get it. Matsumoto now 50 yards passing. Fourth down, Kalua, another punt. And this fourth quarter, I agree, a bit painful. turn. Who is going to make that big play late in this football game? 
First and 10 of the 24, and Redfeather has some time, and the pass is caught by Cooley, his fifth grab of the night. That's Brock's 11th tackle. Gain of six brings up second down and four. Three receiver set, four, two, five. Defensive look for Kalua. And off to Michael Urban, and Urban picks up. Third down and three, there's Saunders. It's either Saunders or Brock every play, it seems like. It has just been one punt after another here in the fourth quarter as these two teams are deadlocked. Fun fact, San Francisco has scored 13 points against Kalua as Michael Urban fails to run for the first down and still is under 100. San Francisco against Kalua, 13 is the magic number. They scored 13 against him earlier this year in a 2016 loss. Last year in the final meeting between the two teams, Kalua won in overtime 16-13. Previously, the, the first meeting of the winter 2014 season, San Francisco won 13-6. So this would be the fourth straight game. San Francisco scores 13 points against Kahlua. How about them apples? Hashtag research. First and 10 of the 33, San Francisco's defense going to have to do it again. Three wide receivers, Christ gets an outside, Christ, Christ past the 4, 48 breaks up to 3. No, Christ! Two of his last three carries, he has gotten into the open field, and that one more impressive because the amount of work he had to do to get down the field. Marcus Dorsett saves the touchdown. And there's the big play we were talking about. Matsumoto, worst game of his career, and Noel Christ, the rookie, is saving him right now. San Francisco, second best run defense in the league, torched twice here in the fourth quarter. Or here in the second half, I should say. Play action, Matsumoto swing pass, that's caught to the outside. Five-yard pickup. This is a crazy effort out of No Christ, who has his first 100-yard career game. Three receivers. Christ gets a carry. On a draw. Breaks a tackle. They say he's short of the first down. A five-yard pickup. And for Noel Christ, this also sets another record. Most yards ever by a silver running back. By a non-gold running back, you can say. As I don't... Well, we'll have to double-check that. Johnny English was a silver last couple of years. Noel Christ, first, er, first down. They trust him with the carry. He picked up a couple. Let's look. Johnny English last couple of seasons. 149 was his career high coming into this year. He was a silver. Parky Chol did have 190. He was a silver, so I stand corrected. Not a record broken, but could potentially be broken by the night. By the time the night is over, Price on a counter right hand side, and he didn't get anything. Gage Wilson, quiet night, makes the stop. Four minutes to go. Kalua is in scoring position. Trying to pull another one out in the final minutes. One thirty to 29 in the final minute over Grand Rapids. 
last week. Hand off to Christ. He ran right into an, a blitz coming off the edge. Randall Watts on the tackle. Third down and 11. Monster play here. I think it's still early enough to where Kalua would kick a field goal. The San Francisco crowd rising to their feet. Have not seen an empty seat in the house. These fans have been loyal all season long. Four wide receivers. Matsumoto to throw. Matsumoto in trouble. Back at the 30-yard line. He is sacked. Sacked by Jordan Gray. His third now four and a half on the season. And that's back-to-back -back weeks that a Bulldog defender has had at least three sacks. And on fourth down and 19 back at the 30, Kalua is going for it. Considering this four down territory down by six. The Wyverns need a miracle on fourth and long. Play action, Matsumoto, he's in trouble! Jordan Gray! Sick, number three! I thought it was number four, it's actually the trifecta. And what a stand for San Francisco! They just could not block this guy. Really surprised Kalua did not attempt a field goal. It would have been long. But didn't happen. They feel like their defense can get a stop as Michael Urban takes a handoff and picks up nothing. Second down, clock is ticking. They do not have to run a play before the two-minute warning, although San Francisco likely will. If they were smart, they wouldn't do it. 14 on the play clock, 2.11 to go. And maybe they will not run a play. This is some smart offense out of Redfern. Well, they are going to run a play anyway. And the handoff goes to Urban, and they just say Kalua a timeout with 2.01 to go. We've hit the two-minute warning. San Francisco may have just made their biggest mistake of the season. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Your home to the park. This is Bulldog Radio 102.5 KSFR The Score, San Francisco, California. Third down and 13 at the 35. They hand it off to Urban. He is stopped. Kalua calls for time, and they will get the ball back. One of the oddest games of the SFL season. And that is likely an understatement. Oh yeah, butter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. Bulldogs kick it away. From the 28-yard line, Kalua running sideways and manages to get to the 30. They have two timeouts and a minute 44 to go with a chance to get down the field with a quarterback that has not thrown a touchdown, has two interceptions, and hasn't thrown for 100 yards in the game. It's just crazy. San Francisco should have put this game away a long time ago, and if it wasn't for two Noel Christ runs, we'd be talking about the greatest defensive performance in league history. Three receivers, Matsumoto down the middle, it is caught. Six yard pickup to the 36. Three receivers. We saw Matsumoto throw his first career game-winning touchdown pass last week. Second and four, Iba's open. How did Marcus Dorsett miss him? Cutting across the middle to the 44. We already saw a two-minute drive executed for the win earlier this week when Grand Rapids upset New York. And Matsumoto's in trouble again. I don't know who got that sack, but they cannot protect Matsumoto in the fourth quarter. 
Three wide receivers. Matsumoto in deep trouble now. Pump fake. Swings it outside. Passes caught, but he ran out of bounds. Third and 19, just like that. Absolutely painful. Dan Stevens, Peter O'Keefe with your second half highlight stats and analysis coming up from the SFL studios in San Antonio as week eight wraps up here from California. Kalua needing a miracle. San Francisco's been all over this team. Matsumoto back to throw. He's in trouble again! This is insanity from Jordan Gray! And he may have, with that sack, set a new league record for most sacks in a game. And I know he set the record for most sacks in a quarter. And at the end of the day, Kalua has just not been able to stop Jordan Gray and Randall Watts. And if San Francisco ends up going on to make the playoffs, Randall Watts would be the signing of the year. And you talk about the trade between Dallas and San Francisco. Wow. Fourth down and 26. Matsumoto needs a miracle. He is sacked again! Punishing! How do you spell win? G-R-A-Y! The performance of a lifetime! Out of Jordan Gray and Kalua loses this game! Jordan Gray put the team on his back! I don't think I've ever seen a better performance out of an individual. And Jordan Gray, I mean, has been a no-show. He was potentially on the list of being cut earlier this year. And with Kalua out of timeouts, the ball game is over. San Francisco gets the upset and leaves the Wyverns absolutely frustrated Third and 13. the final kneel down for red feather I just cannot believe Jordan Gray in the second half the guy was the difference and San Francisco now goes into a game with Oklahoma City, who is 3-2. And, and if San Francisco wins that game, oh, there's going to be a lot of heads rolling around the league. And the clock will tick down. Dan, I want to point out goodness. something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did? Let play wind all the way down before snapping the ball. That's good clock management. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. We'll start this one off late in the third quarter. Number 33 on the carry here as they work the ground game, and this is a nice run. A 75-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Wyverns climb back into the game, now down by six. Towards the end of the third quarter, number six went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. I'm out of control. Midway through the fourth, the Wyverns losing by six. Number 33 would get the carry here. Good blocking up front and it helped to spring it. And that will do it. The Bulldogs edge out a win 13 to seven. I'm out of control. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Number 99 left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. Oh, he was a terror out there, blowing up play after play and not allowing the offense to get any rhythm. He was so effective, it's as if he was lining up in the backfield. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, 
This is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Welcome back to the SFL Studios in San Antonio, Texas. We are confirming a record tonight. Five sacks for Jordan Gray in this game, all of which I believe came in the fourth quarter. He may have had one in the third, but Jordan Gray puts on the most epic performance to end a game that I think we've ever seen in the SFL to keep San Francisco alive in the playoff hunt with rival Oklahoma City uh, next on the schedule. This game was really bad for Kalua, who ends up with 185 yards of offense. That's near an SFL record low, but not a record. However, 69 passing yards might be a record low for any quarterback in league history in this league. Um, just just stunning. Kalua, who was second in the league coming into tonight, converting 49% of their third downs, was just 3 for 13 tonight. And despite San Francisco having 21 third downs, they get the victory. Kalua never reached the red zone um, in this game. And San Francisco had 81 offensive plays to Kalua's 51. As people in the chat room are screaming to test Jordan Gray for drugs, as his fourth quarter was just something that most people just cannot even fathom. Time of possession nearly doubled, 33 to 17, by San Francisco as they controlled the night, and that's got to be a record. A rating of 17.9 for Matsumoto. He completed 44% of his passes. 69 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. He was sacked eight times. The majority of those sacks coming in the fourth quarter when his offensive line let him down. Michael Urban, again, cannot hit 100 yards. 97 for 39, but his big second half was a huge difference in this game, or big first half, rather. Noel Christ, 18 carries, 116 yards, 6.4 yards a carry, they're going to have to figure out how to get him the football a little bit more as Matsumoto was horrendous on the evening. Receiving Urban 7 for 10, Iba 6 for 31, Cooley 5 for 51, Brunson 4 for 40 and a touchdown. He was the best player out in the passing games tonight uh, as Kirkland finishes just 2 for 20. Defensively, Brock and Saunders combined for 21 solo tackles, 16 assisted tackles, Three passes defended, an interception, and five tackles for loss. They were so dynamic all night long. Nathaniel Grayson, eight tackles. Uh, Jordan Gray, there you see again, actually not five, but five and a half sacks tonight to go along with uh, six tackles. And immediately Jordan Gray leaps up to number one on the leaderboards. Talk about uh, winning a new contract. Uh, just by having a phenomenal game, Randall Watts had a sack and a half. And looking at the sacks, Kalua overall, as you can see the breakdown, sacked eight times. Uh, Gage Wilson with uh, six tackles. Koyama Shigeki with uh, five tackles. But it was Jordan Gray late. I, I, There's just no other way to explain it. If you miss the fourth quarter and you want to see Jordan Gray's dominance... You can watch the game on demand. 13 to 7, a devastating loss for Kalua, whose playoff hopes take a monster hit as they do not hold any point differential tiebreakers and now will have to win out to give themselves a shot. Oklahoma City and Dallas left on the schedule. Final score from San Francisco. San Francisco 13, Kalua 7. From all of us at Bagnall Memorial, I'm Cameron Irvine, and from our boys in the studio, Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe, it's been a wild week eight. Join us for week nine starting Saturday. This has been a presentation of the Simulation Football League.